Hey guys, hola, hello, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Taylor here. So, look how cute this shirt is. Look, it's a little Superman kitty. Isn't that cute? I, I just, I'm, I'm in love with that. Anyway, so for today's video, I wanted to actually, it's gonna be like a couple of videos, actually, there's gonna be like a few videos, um, but I get a lot of questions about how I like manage to take such good um, pictures and videos when I'm traveling, especially since I travel by myself. And I think that I love photography and I love taking pictures and, and things like that. Um, and I think that it's fantastic and great to get wonderful pictures. And I think that is always something that's always kind of important to like your memory and, and um, where you've been and everything is to have great photos and videos of where you've been. Um, but a lot of people do struggle, especially when they are traveling by themselves, to take fantastic pictures. Um, so today I am going to go through a little tutorial of what I do to take the pictures and videos that I take when I'm traveling by myself, which is majority of the time. I travel for work, so majority of the time whenever I go places, I am alone. I don't have know anybody, I don't have any friends or whatever with me. So I have to rely on myself to be able to take good pictures and it's all about having, you know, good apps and um, good cameras and things like that. Uh, now, not everybody can afford to have a fantastic camera, and that's fine. Um, I will also create videos of how to do it on just your cell phone as well, um, because I have been there. I know that. So, um, th but this video is specifically going to be about like what I do. I have a Canon EOS M50, um, so it's going to be about how I take my pictures with that camera, and it's also going to show some pictures and videos for like using my iPhone. So I will kind of. Uh, go through that with you guys as well. Um, but the most important thing to remember is, you know, get the pictures and stuff that you want. And le unless you're doing this like professionally, unless you're going to try to sell your pictures or your videos or whatever, you know, they don't necessarily need to be perfect. I know some people want their pictures to be flawless and perfect and that's just for them. And if that's for you and that's what you want, then fantastic and great. I'm the same way. I have a lot of like crap pictures and then I also have like very specific, carefully planned out pictures and, that are, and videos that are like, you know, really exactly what I want and what I want to see and what I want the audience to see as well. So, you know, just, you know, don't stress yourself if you're on vacation or something trying to, like, get a perfect photo and, you know, get a perfect picture and things like that if, if it's just for you. You know, like, you have the memory. You remember going there. I, I know an, a good Instagram photo and a good Instagram story is all what we're all after, but just saying, like, don't ruin your vacation. I know some people that I've gone on vacation and stuff with where it's, like, that's all they want to do is just take pictures, which is fine, but they want to have like perfect pictures and we end up staying places for far too long because they want to get like the right lighting and this and that and everything. It's like, you know, you're not posting this professionally. You're not going to sell it. So, you know, like let's continue on with our experience. But, um, so I'm, I'm going to go through how I capture pictures of myself and make it look like someone else is taking a picture. Um, the the simple and the simple way and, and things uh, the tricks that I do to get great pictures and then I'll also make some videos going over like the apps that I use to edit um, pictures as well because editing is very important when it comes to photography um, because cameras don't always capture the lighting and the colors and the brilliance and the, and everything the way everything is or the way that you see it so editing is super important so that way you can show the audience what you see like you know you can edit it and make it look fantastic in the way that you saw it and the way that you want to see it. So I think that that's super important as well. Go ahead and sit back and I am going to show you how I edit pictures so, and to help you guys edit pictures as well. Um, or how I, I'm going to show you guys how I take pictures while I'm traveling by myself and this can work with other people as well. But I'm going to show you guys how I take pictures and everything while I'm traveling and get all the amazing photos and videos that I've gotten of myself and of scenic areas and cities and things like that um, while I've been traveling. And please, if you have any questions, comment below. I would love to help any of you guys with um, your photography and videography and things like that. So if you have any questions about how I do something or you're curious about something in the video or you want to do something specific, comment below and I will be more than well willing to um, help you out and answer any questions you have. All right, so let's get started. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? So, um, I am terribly sorry for the terribly bright light that is in this video right now, but this was like the best way that I could like 
put it. Let me try, like, moving. Yeah. It's not gonna be that long in, uh, in this shot, so there we go. Um, but yeah, anyways, so on today's video, I'm going to go to a couple different places um, and show you guys how I take solo travel pictures um, because I travel a lot by myself. I travel for work, so I'm constantly like, you know, alone. And I have a lot of pictures where people are like, were you with someone? Did someone take that? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I just set it up because I'm lonely and I don't know anybody to take pictures for me. So, plus it's free. Well, after, you know, you get the equipment or whatever, it's cheap or whatever. So anyways, I am here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Um, and it's, there are actually like a couple of like really pretty places here. Um, one of which is actually this lake that I am, that my hotel is right next to. It's very pretty. And um, so I wanted to like get some shots like in front of the lake or whatever. And then there's like a pier over there where people go um, fishing. So I might go over there and take some shots as well. And then I know that there's like a sculpture park somewhere like right by me by the Civil War Museum and then there's supposed to be this like really pretty park it's like petrified springs or something um so I think we'll go there as well um so I'm like super excited for this and and you know like this this is like I do this like whenever I go anywhere um so yeah a lot of these places that I'm going to right now to shoot this video are gonna are, you know it's like a Monday morning so people aren't really gonna necessarily be there or whatever but I do this when people are there as well um, so, you know, it's just, it, it's about, it, it can be kind of daunting and difficult to get over people, like, staring at you, because, you know, like, I have, like, a whole little setup, I, I put it, I put stuff on a tripod, I walk away from it and everything, so, um, it can be a little awkward, I guess, to kind of, like, you know, do that, it's one thing to, like, stand there and snap a picture, it's another to, like, set up a camera somewhere and position it, and then walk away from it and take several different pictures pictures, you know, by yourself. Um, but you know, you get over it. I get over people watching me and everything. I'm constantly by myself all the time. So it's just something that I deal with. Um, but anyways, so for this video, I'm going to be showing you how I take these pictures with my Canon camera. Okay. Now, um, I will make another video showing you how to do it with like an, with like an iPhone and an Apple watch. Cause I know not everybody can afford these types of cameras because the main way that I take these pictures is that I have the Canon app on my phone. And the Canon app allows me to actually like see what my camera is seeing and then take a shot like with my phone. So I can like kind of put my phone like behind my back or in my pocket, slip it in somewhere or whatever, and then just tap the button and bam, like you see me. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys how to set that up. Now it is important to note, if you're wanting to make it look like someone else is taking the picture, setup is key, okay? That is the main important thing. You wanna make sure that you get the background of whatever it is you're trying, to, wherever it is you're trying to show off, wherever it is you are, while at the same time getting yourself in the frame. You don't wanna take a picture, you don't wanna just put the tripod on the ground and then have it facing up, unless that's, you know, what you're trying to get is the sky, because then that's what it's gonna look like. But if you're trying to make it look like um, someone else is filming you, someone else is taking a picture of you, or, um, you know, you want to get a regular shot of yourself standing somewhere, then you got to make sure you put the camera just far back enough and level with you. Now, you don't want to level with with your head. I would say level to about, like, midway of your body or midway above your, uh, up to your chest is pretty good. I'd say like four ish, four and a half feet off the ground or whatever is, is pretty, is really good to do just because that cat, that can capture a lot. It can capture your outfit. It can capture the, it can capture stuff on the ground. It can capture buildings, scenery, whatever. And it also looks like, you know, a, about an average size person standing there or maybe even kneeling and taking your picture. So it's all about setup to get the perfect kind of picture whenever you're doing, whenever you're doing a picture by yourself okay and you got to remember that you are the subject as well as the photographer so you want to take like you know a minute to you know do setup so i'm going to do my setup for where where we are right now at this lake but like by my hotel um so for this i have my joby tripod and i have my camera and so what i'm going to do actually is set it up in the car like as in i'm going to stand outside uh but i am going to set up the camera in here, I'm going to mount it to uh, my tripod 
and mounts it somewhere in the car. I'm thinking that I'm going to roll down the window and put it on like the windowsill right here. Um, I think that that might be like probably the best option. Okay, we figured it out, we got it, okay. It is also freezing here. It's like in the 20s and I don't do cold at all. I am not very good with being cold. I hate being cold, I think it is the worst. So yeah, these pictures are gonna be taken real quick. And see like right now, I have, um, I forgot my like mount or whatever in my hotel room and I don't feel like going back up there and getting it even though I am still sitting in the parking lot. So like right now I have my phone um, position so that it's just sitting on top of another phone. Okay, so you know, it's just you've got to make use of the stuff that you have. You know what I'm saying? And then I think what I'm gonna do is roll this down and set this like right out here. Now I kind of look like a, a spy a little bit, but whatever. Okay, I see like this very simple in my car and it is perfectly facing the lake that we're going to get. Let's go ahead and take these pictures. All right, so right now what I'm doing is I am using the Canon app that I have on my phone to take pictures. So I'm actually pressing the shutter button with my phone which is then causing the picture to snap from the camera. So if you kind of hide your phone or, you know, make it look like it's a part of the pose, then people can't really tell the difference. So I have some pictures where I'm like, you know, have the phone out and deliberately like looking like I'm on the phone. And then other pictures where I am hiding the phone so you can't see it and can't see the, me snapping the picture. So one of the things that I'm going to do here and one of the fantastic ways to get great pictures is to take a video of yourself just walking and doing things and posing and then you'll have and then just like watch the video and choose like the best one that you the one that you like the most i do this a lot as well it does take up a lot of space because obviously videos are bigger but it is kind of worth it because you end up getting a lot more shots and you know you end up being able to find a lot more stuff that you're happy with and you can edit it you know slightly a little bit more zoom in things like that so it's always very nice to get video. So what I just did is put, I want to get a shot of myself on the pier right here, which looks super good. Um, so there's not really many places to like put the camera. So I put it right here along this little thing. And then I'm just, and then I angled it so that way you can see all of me as I walk up to it. All right, so let me straighten out the camera. I'll post what it looks like when I'm filming it and then what it's gonna look like after I edit it. So right here, we are seeing the difference between my iPhone 10 and my Canon EOS M50. So I'm, you know, just like walking down the pier, I'm going to take some poses. It, the most important thing to make it look like someone else is taking the picture is just the way in which the camera is angled and the way it's set up. So I have two different camera setups to kind of show you what the difference is. And then from here, you know, since I'm recording a video, I'm just going to take the best shots that I like the most and I'm going to screenshot them and then I'm going to edit those pictures. So that's generally the way that I try to take a lot of my pictures is actually just by filming a video and then doing multiple poses while it's filming and then I just pick my favorite ones and then edit those later. And then from that shot I'm going to be able to get like a ton of pictures, even some and video. 
and then I'll be able to edit them and make them look fantastic and it's going to look like someone else took the pictures which is like a fantastic way to do it definitely take video it is so much um, easier with video just because you get so many more options and I'm super picky so options are fantastic just I highly advise invest investing in a bigger um, SD card a camera card or something like that if you're going to do that if you're using a camera or if you're using your phone um, if you're using your phone then you can always transfer it leave it in Google Photos and stuff like that that's free um, but so that way you know you hate to be somewhere where you're taking pictures and then all of a sudden you run out of space trust me I've had it happen it sucks but getting a uh, video of everything is fantastic now see this is one of those good places where you can get one of those really good like walking on rocks and staring out at the sea type shots and everything and really make it look like someone else took the picture the problem is is that there's not really anywhere to like set your camera so that's when we kind of like run into an issue of well how am i going to set the camera there's nobody here and um you want to get like a perfectly good like angled middle shot right so there are a couple of light poles that if you have like a joby tripod you can like wrap it around one of these like light poles or something and then kind of like film yourself like climbing on the rocks and things like that um so that's something that i would suggest doing is just because it would be at the right height for it so that would be like perfect and then you want to make sure that it's facing off into the distance um for certain types of shots like for shots whenever you're filming like a, a little lake or the sea or something you don't want to be like the center of it you want to make sure it's kind of like going off in the distance while you see yourself you know what i mean uh so that's going to be our best option so let's like do that so we have like a light pole right here and we're just gonna tie it around uh, wrap it around this now you're not always gonna have a light pole everywhere but you know since we have one here we're going to make use of it All right, so we're walking down towards the end of this like walkway to the lake because apparently everybody and the brother uses this like the like parking lot or whatever as like a turnaround. And I was trying to take a picture like by my car. There's people that keep driving by and blaring music and shit. So I am walking all the way to the end where like there's nobody yet. Problem is it's freaking freezing. So I am literally dying right now. My fingers are about to freeze off. And yeah, oh, this looks nice. So we are going to walk over here, take a couple pictures, and then I'm gonna go back to my car and cry. And cry probably frozen tears. Now, when doing shots like this, it's always good to get some like good walking shots. Um, but I sort of messed up here because I kind of put the camera a bit too far back. I didn't really look at how big that like circle in the center is by the gate. So I'm actually kind of pretty far away from the camera. You always want to be a little bit closer, but I did want to get the rocks and stuff like that. But it's always good to get great shots like this where you can see off into the distance and then, you know, have yourself a little bit closer than I am right there. Um, but those make some really fantastic pictures and I have this level with a person so it looks like someone else is taking this picture of me. Now, something that can be a little tricky are bridge shots. Because bridge shots, it's like you can probably, it's pro there might be, you know, a, a railing or something that's tall enough for you to like set your camera. However, however, the problem is going to be that it's not really going to be that far away. You're not gonna really be able to get like a good, like full body shot of you. Um, so the bridge shots are, one, are where you've gotta, ooh, okay, like kind of some ice on this. 
where you gotta angle the camera just right and set it up to where set it up to where it's going to be at like a good area to kind of get like all of you because that's typically what I try to do with bridge shots. Like I kind of want to get what the where what I'm looking at and everything. You know, like one of those like looking off into the distance pictures. Um, those are great for bridge shots, but you just gotta make sure you gotta like angle the camera right when you're doing it. Uh, so that way you kind of like get your whole body. It helps if you slump a little bit that's why uh, that's why in a lot of like bridge shots you see people kind of like leaning on the rail and stuff um so that way they're like kind of slumping you can get more of like their body and everything in the shot uh these uh rails are a bit taller so that's not necessarily going to work out too well but we'll see what we can do Well, I do hope that video helped you guys. Um, I still have much more to do and I'm still gonna make plenty more videos on how I take pictures and videos and how I edit them and things like that. So editing is going to be coming next. So do stay tuned for that. Like I said, um, for this uh, co comment question of the video, um, it's, go it's just going to be if you guys have any questions about um, photography or what can you do to do this or if you're going somewhere by yourself or if you're if I didn't answer any questions for you then comment below let me know and I will definitely respond and get back to you as soon as I can um, and give you guys any insights and any suggestions that I have um, but like I said I travel all the time by myself I get fantastic photos and videos at least I think I like them um, so you know just let me know and thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to like comment and subscribe be sure to hit the little bell notification next to the subscribe buttons so that way you're notified as soon as I make new videos and I'll see you guys around the world. Bye!